Hello everyone, my name is Tierra Range and I attend Centenary College of Louisiana in my hometown Shreveport. I have a quick question I want to ask you. Have you ever been dying to get in your car on a sunny Saturday morning and check out the town, but then noticed, as always, your tank was empty and you had to fill up at the gas station first? Well, what if I told you that there could be a way for you to start your day without that annoying trip to the gas station? What if you could get around in your car with power from the sun instead of gasoline to fill it up? Well, in my lab, this is a dream we we're trying to turn into a reality. Want to know how? Come with me to find out. Now, I know this might sound far-fetched, but think about this. Now, what do this tarantula, this lemon pansy butterfly, and this alligator have in common? They all use the sun to get their day started. By sitting in the sun, these critters power up their bodies enough to move around. The sun has been used for thousands of years to power up the earth, from powering up these critters, to helping plants grow, to even powering up our bodies when we eat the plants and animals. So why not use it even more? Right now we power up our cars and many other things with what we call fossil fuels, which come from the remains of dead plants and animals from thousands of years ago found deep underground. But we're using this stuff so much that we're in danger of it running out. And on top of that, it releases gases in the air that could harm the air that we breathe. The sun could be a great alternative source to power up the world. And at my lab, we try to make it easier for this to happen by creating what we call solar cells. These take what the sun has and turn it into something we use to power the earth. The better the solar cells are at taking in what we need from the sun, the more of the earth the sun can power and the better it can do so. So we work hard to find new ways of tweaking these guys to make them the best they can be at effectively using the sun's energy to power the earth. And what's the ultimate goal? To have the sun power up the entire earth. This would include the machines we use, our homes and other buildings, and of course it would make it that much easier to take a joyride on a sunny Saturday morning after a long week at work. And there you have it. Pretty cool stuff, huh? You want to know what's even cooler? If I won the Kim Champs competition, I could spread the word about my awesome research to a lot more people. This is not just important to scientists, but it's also important to the general public, which I know includes you and you. Hey, and you too. <laughs> and on top of that, I should win the Kim Champs competition because I love what I do. And because of that, I'm able to effectively explain what I do to any and everyone that's willing to listen. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for your time. See you around.